Hey Charlie, thanks so much for sending in your video for me to review of your goal kicking technique and awesome to see you kicking off the RB Wolf. Today I want to compare your technique to George Ford, mainly focusing on that rodeo arm pre-impact with the ball. At the time that your plant foot is landing, we want to have that rodeo arm up nice and strong, storing energy that we then can put through the ball. You can see that your rodeo arm is slightly low, obviously below that 90 degrees. The ideal position that we want to get into is that 45 degree with that slight, slight chest open towards the target. So with it being low, all I want you to focus on over the next few weeks is just going from this position and just getting it slightly higher and moving it up. This way we're going to open up that chest and tell our body where we want to go after making contact with the ball. Now to show you the example of George Ford and the position that he gets into, so pre-kick coming in nice and strong, good energy towards the ball. As that plant foot is landing, let's have a look at that rodeo arm, so that same position. So nice and tall, let me get my pen out. We've got that rodeo arm up on that 45 degree, but more importantly, we're getting that chest telling ourselves where we want to go after contact with the ball. So it really helps us promote that good energy after we make impact with the ball. Now like George, you also use the foot down technique. Now let's have a look at that, I'll just step it through. So George is making contact with the ball and if we watch his kicking foot, it's the first foot to land on the ground. So rather than using the hop, hop technique, we're using the foot down technique, which is absolutely fine. So if we go back to your technique and have a look at that through your technique coming in, let's get a little bit more extension through that rodeo arm, get a nice strike, and then you're using that foot down technique. So what I want you to focus on over the next few weeks is again just slightly raising that rodeo arm up and just feeling your chest getting towards the target pre-impact with the ball. It'll really help you with that follow through and also just give you a little bit more distance on your kicks. We don't have to kick every kick as hard as possible, absolutely not. But if we have a full range of motion technique that we know we can rely on and trust our timing and trust our technique, that way we can get all that good energy going through the ball and make it feel really effortless. So thanks again for sending in your video. Awesome to see your review and to get through it. And fantastic to see you kicking off the RB Wolf kicking tee. Thanks for watching this little outtake of a goal kicking review. Just to show you what a review looks like, how it feels, the little things that I can point out with a new goal kicking technique. If you would like a video done, all you need to do is take three videos, one from the back, side and front of your goal kicking technique. Head to the link below to secure your online kicking review and I can get through it and we can get you kicking.